hear that solid thud, right? We didn't get any movement out of the tool. We're going right into the jam. So that's one disadvantage bevel to the door over here is we really have to make sure we have pressure. Now go ahead and give me a hit. Feel and hear the difference on that tool, right? Constant movement of the tool, but constant pressure. I'm calling for one hit, he hits one time. I call for a hit, he hits, then I push the tool over a little bit more. I don't want him to go for a moving target, so I'm not constantly moving this thing and calling for hits, okay? If we're going bevel to the jam. You'll see it's a little bit easier. Go ahead. Hit, hit, hit. Okay, it starts moving nice and easy. When we go to push our tool to the door to make our throw, we're gonna bottom out a little bit faster, right? So we've got the four inches of the ads right here. Then you either put the ax in to capture progress, we can take our wedge, do it right on top. I like to just, in a tight space like this, throw the wedge in here, pull this tool out, turn it right over, spear that fork right back in to the gap that you had, and then go to the door, you'll usually get a little bit more out of it, okay?